So what's changed in your life recently, Tara? Nothing's bringing to mind. Any events that have been stressful lately? No, nothing, no. Look, Tara, I know I abandoned you when you needed me, but if you could just look deep down in your heart and find forgiveness and just let me stay here for a couple of months rent-free, that would be brilliant. Anything that's causing you to feel insecure? What? Paul, are these scales broke? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Not that I can think of, no. Have you been eating right? I'm on one of those high protein diets. Have you been exercising? Hi, strength training like two or three times a week. How much alcohol do you consume each week? Nothing, no. And are you sleeping okay? Yep. You getting out to see friends and have your own social time? Yeah, I see my friends a couple times a week. Hey girls, uh, sorry I can't make tonight. Uh, Jimmy's really sick. I think he's got a, a vomit and bug or something. But listen, have fun. Why did you say I am sick? I am not sick. Uh, do you want Robux? <laughs> so there's nothing, absolutely nothing stressing you out maybe at work? I know I promised you the site launch today, Mr. Jensen, but we've just been really understaffed and I was wondering if you could give me an extension of maybe two weeks. No. And what about at home? My teacher told me off today because I called Jason a dildo and then she said, where do you hear that word, Jimmy? And I said, I hear my mama say it. So she wants to talk to you in the morning. Oh my God, you are so tannist, which is technically racist. And by saying that my tan looks awful means that you're judging me by the color of my skin. And did you seriously buy me body spray for girls? Stop assuming my gender. I love. Tara, I've brought a wee friend around. Where do we keep the whiskey glasses? And do we have any whiskey? Nope. In your marriage, maybe? Paul, could you help me with this washing? Just heading out the golf here, love. We'll be back in about six hours or so. Nice for some! Not that I can think of, no. What about your physical health? Any worries there? Paul, I just typed my uh, symptoms into Google and uh, it says I'm dying. <laughs> It's perimenopause, Tara, and until your periods stop completely and you're in full menopause, we really just need to try and manage the symptoms. Here's a leaflet. Okay. No, nope, all good. Okay, Tara, have you ever tried journaling? Mm, to be honest, I spend most days at work taking notes and writing things down and being on my laptop, so I, I, I don't think that's a really good activity for me. Okay, well, what about vlogging then? <laughs> vlogging like one of those annoying YouTubers. Hi, I'm Tara, and welcome back to another episode of me trying to survive a panic attack. <laughs> hmm. Now, what I want you to do is sit down at the end of every day and open up the camera in your phone and press record. Now, I want you to briefly introduce yourself at first, but then I want you to talk about your day, things that happened, how you were feeling, all of that. Just keep talking and I assure you, Tara, we will get to the bottom of this spike in anxiety. <laughs> even doing this? Is it a sock? Hi there, uh, I'm... Mama, can you open my lunchbox? Wait box? one second! Oh my god, I look like a champion. Mama. I'm Tara. Mama, can I have Robux? Hi there, I'm Mama, Tara. Mama, can you hold my hand? Because my poo stuck in one, my butt. One second! Hi there, uh, I'm Tara. Can you, can you not? Can you not? Oh, sorry, love. Hi there, I'm Tara. What are you doing? 
I'm Tara. Mommy, I'm... come smell my fart. It smells Paul! like balls. Mommy! I'm a mum, or a ma, as we like to say here in Derry, to a feral six-year-old boy named Jimmy and a 13, soon to be 14 year old daughter named Gemma. I'm married to my childhood sweetheart, Paul. Come on, Ralph! And I'm currently housing my own ma after her Spanish toy boy left her for a younger model and she had to move back home to Derry from Alicante. He is not too young for me, Tara. At the end of the day, I ride, so ride him. At my age, they're few and far between, okay? Oh, don't wait up. I work full-time as a project manager for a tech company. In my spare time, I, I'd like to say that I go running and go for bottomless brunch with my best friends, Kat and Amanda, and do yoga and go on trips. But if I said that, I would be talking absolute shite. Because I don't do any of that. spend a fair bit of time scrolling on my phone and compare myself to people who are more beautiful, more thinner. Yes, I know that a lot of them use filters and are rich enough to afford plastic surgery and I should take the advice that I give to Gemma. Social media isn't real. Stop comparing yourself to those people. But that's hard when you're sitting scrolling through Instagram and JLo, who's 20 years my senior, a thing pops up with a six pack. A six pack, have you seen that thing? And that's not nice when that happens when I'm sitting motorboating a stack of waffles and my braless breasts are resting on my bellies. Plural bellies. TV time for me during the week is non-existent because I'm always exhausted by the time the dinner's done and the washing's done and I get the kids to bed. I just want to curl up and do a ball in my bed and go to sleep. I can be found partaking in the odd glass of vino at the weekend though and these days I count the hours down until I am lying on my sofa like a fish supper waiting on a takeaway with a glass of wine in my hand and ready to binge watch some TV with my husband. We're watching Yellowstone at the minute. Oh my, I, I don't know who I fancy more, Rip or John. I mean, Kevin Costner, absolute silver fox. He has a gilf. And then there's Rip. I think it's something about the way he just loves Beth and all her craziness kind of kind of reminds me of my Paul. Mm. I'm serious. And then Paul usually falls asleep before 11 and then it's time for me to binge on some chick flick shit. Recently that includes sex life which thanks to Kat who sent me a not safe for work video that I opened at work if you know you know I started watching it and I couldn't stop. And I, I mean, it's not for the storyline. The characters are completely unrealistic, but it, you, you can't, can't look away. I, I, it, it's, it's the cinematography. That's what it is. That's what has me hooked. So it's Monday, the 3rd of April, and my Monday morning started like most Monday mornings do. Jimmy, you don't have a bangina, so how could you have a sore one? Get up for school. Gemma, see if you don't get up. I'm turning the Wi-Fi off at nine o'clock tonight. I drop them off at school. Love you. Have a great day. Hey, Mom, I love you. Bye. All right. Love you, Gemma. Have a good day. My days at Toe Tech usually start off with me chatting in the kitchen to the newly graduated fresh meat about things I honestly have no notion about. You can get these thread things now. They're like a money facelift. Oh, really? I know I'm only 26, but would you ever get it done, Tara? You know, for your chins. Um, can, you, can you get it done locally? I argued with a software developer who somehow is unable to make eye contact with me and doesn't understand plain English. I mean, what do they talk in not so months? Like, what is it? Stevie, can you hear me? Can you understand me? You're not looking at me, Stevie. All they wanted was a new image on the homepage and now the whole site is shit itself. I tried not to eat my lunch before 11 o'clock. Done it again. But of course I failed. I had meetings about meetings about meetings 
Then I had to try and cram a full day's work into three hours so that I could leave early at 4.30. A privilege, by the way, that I had to fight tooth and nail for, but somehow still deems me as part-time, according to my boss, Mr. Handley. So what you're saying is you want to go part-time? <laughs> no, I didn't say that I wanted to go part-time, Mr. Handley. I just said that I was hoping that you could give me a little bit of flexibility, just a half an hour, and it'll save me getting childcare and getting stuck in traffic. I'll start a half an hour earlier. And anyway, every night when I go home, I spend at least two hours on my laptop anyway. What about the other staff members who don't have children, Tara? It's not a charity I'm running. Finished up work and then collected the kids from school. Can you just write a note for the teacher and say, teacher, Jimmy went blind last night and couldn't do his homework, but now he can see, but maybe later on he'll not be able to do your homework again. Dinner's ready, and can you bring down half of those dishes at least, please? Can you not? I have had a really stressful day at school, you know. From the teacher, again, Jimmy. Today, Jimmy told the class that last night he seen a mafis penis on the TV. When I asked him who was watching the TV, he said, my mommy, and she was drinking wine. Dear Miss Doherty, I was unaware that Jimmy was out of bed last night and was simply watching a program on Netflix called Sex Life. Hugest apologies. Won't happen again. Tara Gallagher. Here you go. Give that back to her tomorrow. Mm. Well, I'm away to get ready. Date number two is waiting for me in the Argyle Arms. Right, I'm away for a shower and a massive shite. <sighs> and then out of the blue, I felt like I was going to take a panic attack. My chest was tight. My breath was short. My head was just spinning in circles. And now I have anxiety. I have had anxiety for the last seven years. And usually I've been able to manage it predominantly with medication. But usually... I've been stronger than it, but now I feel as if I'm getting weaker and I don't know what to do. They reckon talking to yourself is the first sign of madness. <laughs> I'm just doing this vlog poll and I think we both know I'm past the first sign of madness. Do you reckon it's working? Oh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Although I didn't have a panic attack today. I nearly did, but I didn't have one. Winning. <sighs> Jimmy's teacher thinks I'm an alcoholic sex predator. Hmm, close enough. And Gemma hates me even more today than she did yesterday, if that's possible. She doesn't hate you, Tara. I'm sure you had a few run-ins with your ma when you were her age. Paul, I had fair reasons to have run-ins with my ma, and here she is just swanning back in as if nothing ever happened. It's like having another teenager in the house. She's worse. She's worse than Gemma, if that's possible. She's worse. How about I give you one of my legendary back rubs to de-stress? Uh, we both know that's Paul for Do You Wanna Ride? If you're asking, I'm dancing. <sighs> right, okay, but lights off and I'm giving you a warning. Now I haven't shaved in a few weeks and there's potential for a bushfire to start if you go too fast. I quite like the Yeti look on you. I had a bad dream about the Easter Bunny teeth. Party over. <laughs> Come on, I'm pet. It's Friday the 7th of April and um, this morning I woke up actually really optimistic and positive because today's a special day. Today is the day that Gemma, my teenager, my only daughter, turns 14 and I booked the day off. To celebrate Gemma's birthday we agreed that she could have four of her friends over for a wee bit of a party and a sleepover. This was my chance to finally show Gemma that I am class. I know what young people like. I know what all the cool people are into. So I got her favourite cupcakes. I got loads of sweets and balloons and confetti. I got glow sticks. I even got those balloons. You know the ones you see the Instagrammers with in their pictures? You get a certain amount of followers. I got those. They were cheap. They were not cheap. So I dropped the kids to school, decorated the kitchen and made my way into town to meet Kat 
and Amanda because it has been far too long and I need to make up for being a really shitty friend. Happy anniversary, you ragey. Cat, you should have. Why did you buy her a present for her? That's not even a real thing, Cat. It's a bottle of Prosecco vinegar tits and it's to celebrate Tara keeping a child alive for 14 years, all right? Cat, I told you already, I don't like to be called vinegar tits. Go on, you can say it. That's it, nearly there. Come on, Amanda. Come on, you could say it. Come on, Amanda. You're lousy. I'm only messing with you in here. I got you something too. Oh, thank you, cat. Wait, grass. So, Mrs. What is the crack with you? You've been quiet on us lately. I know, I've been shit. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't apologise. You're flat out. Here's why I think you're doing the right thing. Trying to limit your screen time. I'm trying to do the same thing. And every morning when I wake up, I go outside in my bare feet. I'm walking the grass and grinding myself. Mm, well, when I wake up in the morning, I smoke a fag, drink a flat white and watch some porn. <coughs> Keeps me grounded. Cat, lower your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, Amanda. Each to their own. Here's, I'm sorry, honestly, just I've been flat out with work and the kids and then my ma showing up and honestly, anxiety has just been drowning me. Why didn't you tell us, Tara? Because what's the point? We're all going through your own shit. You're flat out. You're flat out. I'm sure the last thing you want to hear is how much I'm wallowing in self-pity and drowning and feel like I'm suffocating in my own skin. What about those crystals I bought you? Did you try them? About those... <laughs> Jimmy found them and took them into school and sold them for 50p each to his classmates. Good man, Jimmy, a wee entrepreneur. What about that therapist I referred you to? Did you go and see her? I actually have. Amanda, I've seen her twice. Uh, she's costing me a small fortune and she wants me to vlog. What, like a YouTuber? Not that type of vlog, cat. It's a form of CBT, probably. A little help to induce self-help and behavioural activation and mindfulness cognitive therapy. Come again, Spock. Is that the boy from Star Trek? Are you trying to say my ears are funny? Oh, I'm not slagging your ears. I'm slagging all that psychobabble bullshit you're spitting out there. Absolutely no idea what any of that means. Amanda, I'm sure it makes sense, but I am struggling with vocalising why the anxiety is suddenly ramped up. So apparently, if I sit and do these vlogs every night and then send them to her, we can review them together and we'll find out what is going on. That's it, Gears. Do you know what we need? Asleep and an uninterrupted shit. Well, I know. A cleanse retreat. Like one of those ones where you get a colonic and star for three days. He just reminded me of last weekend with Dominic. I mean, please not hear that story again. The picture you sent was bad enough. I needed you to visualize the situation. Well, personally, I didn't need to visualize the situation. I kind of did. See, Amanda. And by the way, I sent the picture before I used it. So stop getting your knickers in a twist, love. And no, we do not need a cleanse retreat. We need a night out. No, I said never again after last time. Amanda, it was one slut drop, you enjoyed yourself, and you didn't have the entire Catholic church running around the town looking for you, did you? No, but it still feels, I just still feel dirty. The power of Christ compels thee. Honestly, Kat, the thought of trying to find something that fits, something that looks nice, and queuing for taxis and queuing for the toilet with my weak bladder, I'm not in the form. Fine then, what about a night done? Come on, you come to my place, you can wear your jammies, we'll get a takeaway, I'll make my special margaritas. Can I wear my night dress? You can wear anything you want, downtown Abbey. <laughs> right, and I'll make some fresh fruits gone. Yes, um, man, that, that's the spirit. Right, here's, I have to head on and get this house ready for Gemma's big party. Five teenagers, and I've been instructed to wear a bra. After five o'clock in my own house, surely that's some sort of war crime. Tara, you got this, you ragey. Gemma is gonna realise that her ma is absolutely class. Here's hoping. Good luck, Tara, and make sure to check that nobody has a nut allergy. Do you remember what happened to my twin's seventh birthday party? How could I forget? Amanda, I nearly wiped out half of the twins' primary five class. <laughs> 
Bye. Have fun. And no cancelling tomorrow night, Flaky McFlakerson.